Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. I see Navi going crazy up there for whatever reason. Now, there's another Skultula in this room that I didn't show in the last part. <laughs> but that does absolutely nothing, so that's kind of useless. Anyway, let's go back to the fourth floor just as I said I was going to! You are quite the surprise attacker, I have to say, mister. <laughs> We're gonna have to battle. This is actually going to be kind of tricky. Or not. <laughs> okay, to the fourth floor now. Oh, as a confirmation here, this Iron Knuckle does happen to respawn, so you can get the Skulltulas behind these things. You don't have anything to worry about. That makes me very happy. Anyway, we're on the fourth floor here now, so we can go right through here. And remember all these Sun Switch panels? That, well, there's one right below my feet there and up against the wall, but yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, you! Green bubble. Tap me. And now die. <laughs> and you too, Slugma. There we go. And I heard a... Ow! I heard a Dinlophos. Wherever the heck it went. Did you... You heard that too, didn't you? Unless... Oh, it's in this room. <laughs> and... You aren't really that much of a problem, are you? Nah, you're not gonna be. You aren't even more aggressive than a regular old Lizaphos. Anyway, uh, over here... Now that I cleared out the rooms, I can start doing this. I'm going to tap that sun switch. Which does something. I think it turns off the fire. Of the, yeah, that, that one over there. So that means I can now grab this and push it over. So the light reflects onto it. Just one more notch. There's only eight ways that this thing can face. And now it should be shining on the mirror. Oh! Oh my! Oh no! Oh! This is a lot more complicated than I thought it would be. <laughs> because I have to push that a little bit faster. Yeah. So I'm going to have to move this back over here. Because you see you have to turn off the fire. Oh, wait, 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 I don't have to be quick at all. All I have to do is this. Just, nope, a little too close there. All I have to do is shine light onto that. And now I have to quickly, well, I guess not that quickly, just move over here, grab this, move it one notch over to the left, counterclockwise, counter excuse me. And now I can just move this over two notches. Now that's planning ahead. I am surprised that I'm actually getting the puzzles for once. <laughs> and one more. Over There we go. And now once I leave the room, I don't actually leave the room because these are all sort of interconnected in a way. Now you see the light is shining through the bars here. Jump on top of this thing. There's any hearts beneath here. So I'm coming to the end of the dungeon here. Not that it really matters, I have three fairies left. But well, yeah, I just like to be at full if all possible. Ah, whatever. So now stand right here. Oh, there's the light because it reflected off the mirror on the corner on the ceiling. See that angle on the ceiling? It reflects it right down onto this platform. Now here's something that I always thought was kind of douchey. It's like, watch out. No, not 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 you now. You're, you are kind of douchey, but... Uh, but you're actually supposed to shine light onto that statue there. Now, that's... Oof, I didn't mean to do that. Well, the thing is, is that how are you possibly supposed to know how to do that? If you don't have, like, a guide or something like that. I have honestly no idea. Because you have to have the light shining on that thing for quite a while, and, well, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to meet you back at that other room. Okay, here we are again. I'm just going to jump right down here. I believe that's the only way that you can get over to here. But what I'm going to be doing is luring out that wall master carefully like that. And knocking him out of the game. There we go. Now what I can do is shine light on... The light puzzle reset, didn't it? I hate you so much. Alright, let's try this again. I gotta lure out the wall master like that and kill it off. Well, I guess that'll work for now. Just 
shine some... Wait, now I'm gonna have to bait him out again, aren't I? I do not want that dang light puzzle to reset again. <laughs> and there. That's all. Now I should be safe to do this. Just burn the statue's face right off. Now again, how are you po supposed to know that unless you have a guide or something like that? I Maybe because Navi hints that the statue looks evil and you're supposed to shine light on it or something like that? I really have no idea. Anyway, this leads over to the boss. What do they mean by, oh, loyal minion? It looks just like your iron knuckle of normalist, except it's got a fancier suit of armor, I suppose. <laughs> it was like, oh, well, I don't have an axe. Oh, now I do. So yeah, here's your typical iron knuckle, but hmm. What? Huh? It's not an ordinary iron knuckle? Well... Oops, I didn't mean to, <laughs> to do that. I'm going to do that, though. Just for the fun of it. And, uh... Yeah! Nope, 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 I don't think so. Because this is going to really speed up this battle. By the way, those two witches that you've seen there... Hello there! I'll, I'll get to the witches later. She looked familiar, didn't she? Yep. Nabaru. Oh, where am I? Looks like she was under their spell for like seven years. Well, well, looks like she's back to the little comb. She's just a little girl, but she commands a lot of respect among the Kurudo Kotake. No, did I say Kotake? <laughs> well, it could be Kotake, but I believe it's Kotake. For some reason I said Kotake as if it was like referring to not a person, but a thing. <laughs> How did those blasts not hit me? So, she's apparently gone. That door... I thought... Hmm. I thought it was gonna open. Anyway, as you see, everything in the Spirit Temple is complete. There's nothing more to get. So, go right through this door. And I'll... I'll t take off the Master... I mean, I'll take out the Master Sword, excuse me. No surprise attacks, please. Thank you. <laughs> and now, just climb up on one of these corners. Notice that your map is gone, which means... Look at that stupid kid. He came on his own to offer himself as a sacrifice to the great Ganondorf. These two witches are my favorite boss in the game. Not only is it fun to face them, but they are quite humorous. <laughs> they are... As silly as witches come. Although these, uh, these uh, last two lines here are kind of serious, though. These are Twinrova, Koyum and Koltake. I believe their names are pronounced. If someone wants to correct me, I don't care. <laughs> anyway, as I said, I love this boss. What you want to do is look around the room and pay attention to their positioning. And also look at which one is going to be shooting at you, and then guard with your mirror shield and try to redirect the shot towards the other one. 
ice is weak against fire, fire is weak against ice, and that's how this fight goes, basically. It has a pretty dang good range if it ever hits the ground, both of the attacks, so don't let it happen if you can. Otherwise, this boss battle is sort of luck-based in... No, 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 in the fact that you have... I mean, they have to be at the right positions for you to be able to hit them, basically. Like, the, you'll notice that the blue one there, just where well, I see the ice element one, just went over to the left, and I wasn't able to hit it. And I would like to zoom... Oh, uh, uh, got him! And that's all you have to do, basically, for this first phase. What's so cool about it is just... everything, really. The lighting effects, the fact that you have to put yourself in danger to deflect shots is also a pretty neato thing, I think. And sometimes if you don't deflect the shot, you'll take a hit, of course. And I'm going to have to hopefully... I got her! Voila! This isn't a hard boss battle, but dang, is it fun. Or at least I think it is. I'm just gonna stand in this corner and see if I can get... Yeah, there we go. That worked out nicely. And I think I'm just going to keep going corner to corner like this, because I, I get the most field of vision by doing so like this. Like you stand in one... Oh, now she's going to go out of, the, out of the range, I suppose. But it's best to just guard these attacks anyway. Uh, now, I believe they alternate attacks, so you'll know that's fire, ice, fire, ice, and yeah. Or at least I think they do. They could maybe throw you off or something like that. But I don't recall them doing so. Uh, are you gonna, like, do something? Uh-huh. Come on. Come on. There we go. And... No, 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 no. Yeah, baby! Looking good. As you can see, they still float in midair. That's why you can't hit them. And now they say they're gonna get serious. Oh, by the way, in that first phase, don't Z-target at all. Just the double dynamite attack. That's what they call it. And holy... Crap, she's scarier than a great fairy. <laughs> now, what you want to do in the second phase is Z-target everything. But what you want to do is get three attacks of the same element charged onto your shield. Like, you'll see that I got an ice one on there, and I got a second ice one. And now, she's going to probably shoot a third one. If she doesn't, just dodge the fire. Very good. And now... Get close to her while Z-targeting, and you'll be able to hit her. And now, wail on her like crazy with your sword. Well, it's more like a slash when it comes to swords. And just keep repeating until she's dead. <laughs> and fire this time, I suppose? Okay. And eventually, after she takes a few hits, what she's going to start doing is she's going to start alternating her attacks, and you're going to have to pick and choose which of the two elements you want to save on your shield. Of course, you want to only save the, the uh, three that, you know, that you get in a row to be able to hit her. And... Take this, and that, and this too, and... Okay, you're done. <laughs> Must run away to safety and continue to L-target. Ice... I can live with ice, 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 baby, dentine ice, freshens your breath, uh, more ice, delightful, keeps my fish fresh, and one more ice would be very nice, ah, excellent, and sure enough, knocks her senseless, attack, attack, attack! By the way, it goes without saying, if you should ever fall off the arena, just climb back on using those brick walls off to the sides. It should be pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> and we'll get another ice here. Come on. Come on. Man, she's being really, really lenient. By now, she usually switches to alternating her attacks. But no, she's doing it all in properly in order, and this is going to make the fight ridiculously easy. <laughs> Oh, that's it! Woohoo! And she splits back into her two forms. Well, two sisters, I should say, not the combined form of both of them. Shoot! What a fresh kid! This time we'll get serious, right, Kutik? What? Hey, Kum, what is that above your head? <laughs> 
I don't know, but you have one over your head too, Kotake. But I'm only 400 years old, and I'm just 380 years old. <laughs> We're twins, so I'm trying to lie off your face. <laughs> See what I mean about these being extremely silly? <laughs> and they argue faster than I can read off. But you can read it, I'm sure. <laughs> I'll come back to haunt you. <laughs> I love that line, too. And that was Twin Rova. And that's why I love them so much. Grab your final heart container and get yourself up to 20 hearts. Congratulations, you have a 100% full life bar. Woo! Once again, we have returned to the Chamber of Sages, which means we'll be getting the final medal. Well, medallion, it's called. But hey, they're medal. <laughs> Medals. <laughs> and sure enough, the Sage is Nabaru. If you didn't expect that. <laughs> Look what the little kid has become in the past seven years. A competent swordsman. By the way, I really messed up. I was brainwashed by those old witches and used by Ganondorf to use to do his evil will. But isn't it funny that a person like me could turn out to be THE Sage of the Spirits? And now, I'm going to fight them as one of the six sages. <laughs> I'm going to pay them back for what they did to me. Kid. No, Link, the hero of time. Instead of keeping the promise I made back then, I give you this medallion. Take it. The final chocolate coin is within our possession. Its delicious goodness will now fill another spot in my bottomless pockets. If only I knew you would become such a handsome man. I should have kept the promise I made back then. Link, the hero. Finally, all of us, the six sages, have been awakened. The time for the final showdown with the King of Evil has come. Before that, though, you should meet the one who is waiting for you. The one who is waiting for you at the Temple of Time. I have been waiting for you, Link. The Ninja! Link, the hero of time. You have overcome many hardships and awakened six sages. And now you have a final challenge, a showdown with Ganondorf, the king of evil. Before that, I have things I want to tell only to you. Please listen. Another unknown legend of the Triforce passed down by the Shadow Folk, the Sheikahs. If you would seek the sacred triangle, listen well. The resting place of the sacred triangle, the sacred realm, is a mirror that reflects what is in the heart. The heart of one who enters it, if an evil heart, the realm will become full of evil. If pure, the realm will become a paradise. The Triforce, the sacred triangle. It is a balance that weighs the three forces, power, wisdom, and courage. If the heart, the one who holds the sacred triangle, has all three forces in balance, 
that one will gain the true force to govern all. But, if that one's heart is not in balance, the Triforce will separate into three parts, power, wisdom, and courage. Only one part will remain for the one who touched the Triforce, the part representing by the force that one most believes in. If that one seeks the true force, that one must acquire the two lost parts. Those two parts will be held within others chosen by destiny, who will bear the Triforce mark on the backs of their hands. Seven years ago, Ganondorf, the King of Thieves, used the door you opened in the Temple of Time and entered the Sacred Realm. But when he laid his hands on the Triforce, the legend came true. The Triforce separated into three parts. Only the Triforce of Power remained in Ganondorf's hand. The strength of the Triforce of Power enabled him to become a mighty evil king but his dark ambitions were not satisfied. To gain complete mas mastery of the world, Ganondorf started looking for those chosen by destiny to hold the other two Triforce parts. The one who holds the Triforce of Courage is you, Link! And the other who holds the Triforce of Wisdom Take a guess. Yep. It's a seventh sage. But who is the seventh sage? How about... Chick, Also known as... Princess Zelda. Man, if you played this game blind and, didn't, and never played Super Smash Bros. Brawl, this would have floored you! <laughs> this was an incredible plot point in the game back when it was released. People were stunned. It was... beautiful, let's just say that. <laughs> So, let's see what went down. I'm sure you remember this scene. I thought I should entrust the ocarina to you. I thought that would be our best chance. As long as you had the ocarina in your possession, I thought Ganondorf could never enter the sacred realm, but something I could never expect happened. After you opened the door of time, the Master Sword sealed you away in the sacred realm. Your spirit remained in the sacred realm, and then the Triforce fell into Ganondorf's hands. He went on to invade the sacred realm. Ganondorf had become the evil king, and the Sacred Realm became a world of evil. All of this is an unfortunate coincidence. I passed myself off as a Sheikah, and hoped that you would return. I waited for seven years. And now, you are back. The Dark Age ruled by Ganondorf, the evil king will end. The six sages will open the sealed door and lure Ganondorf back into the Sacred Realm. I will then seal the door to the Sacred Realm from this world. Thus, Ganondorf, the evil king, will vanish from Hyrule. Link, in order to do this, I need your courage again. Please protect me while I do my part. And here is a weapon that can penetrate the evil king's defenses, the power given to the Chosen Ones. The Sacred Arrow of Light! Be 
hold the light arrows! They're super powered, magic powered arrows, basically. You shoot them like a normal arrow, you equip them just like the fire arrows. You should know that by now. <laughs> um. That rumbling. It can't be. Princess Zelda, you foolish traitor. I commend you for avoiding my pursuit for seven long years. But, you let your guard down. I knew you would appear if I let this kid wander around. My only mistake was to slightly underestimate the power of this kid. No, it was not the kid's power I misjudged, it was the power of the Triforce of Courage. But with the Triforce of Wisdom that Zelda has, when I obtain these two Triforces, then I will become the true ruler of this world. If you want to rescue Zelda, come to my castle. If you don't get it, that's Ganondorf talking. Yep. And that's how I'm going to end off this part. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we go over to the Gerudo training grounds. Yeah, like, why rescue Zelda now when there's more adventuring and 100%ing to do? 